Thunderstorms are particle accelerators, and they shoot gamma rays into space. And no, I'm not talking about lightning. Hear me out. In order for a thunderstorm to be a thunderstorm, there needs to be a huge buildup of charge separation. Inevitably, this charge separation is what causes lightning. The positive charges, often at the top of the cloud, want to rejoin with the negative charges, often at the bottom of the cloud. The details of how this charge separation occurs and how the lightning actually starts are complicated, but the end result of this whole process is lightning. When the lightning discharges, the charge equalize a bit, and the whole process starts over. But there's a funny thing that can happen before the lightning discharge. The strong electric fields can turn the thunderstorm into a particle accelerator. See, at every moment of the day, the Earth is being bombarded by high-energy particles from space. These are called cosmic rays. Don't worry, they're not dangerous, usually. But what they can do is knock electrons off of atoms and get them going really fast. And when that happens inside of a charged-up thundercloud, an interesting phenomenon happens a relativistic runaway electron avalanche. In such an avalanche, a cosmic ray strikes a random atom in the cloud, knocking its electrons off. Hard. And unlike the stray electrons that caused the thundercloud to electrify to begin with, these electrons don't experience really any friction. They're just moving too fast. So instead, they're accelerated upward by the strong electric field, sideswiping other atoms as they go and knocking out more electrons. This creates a cascade of high-energy electrons all being accelerated upwards. An avalanche. Now, occasionally, one of these electrons will hit the nucleus of an atom, and in doing so, abruptly change directions. And when charges accelerate, they release electromagnetic radiation. In this case, the huge acceleration means that the radiation is exceedingly energetic, so we're talking about gamma rays. The upshot of all of this is that the thunderstorm ends up shooting electrons in a tight beam at nearly the speed of light into space, and this is often paired with a glow of gamma radiation coming from the storm. And then, it's over, lasting a few seconds at most. Usually, it stops right after a lightning discharge reduces the electric field strength. This prevents the avalanche from growing, at least until the charge builds back up again.